um, we got a little guest with us. Someone <laughs> sandwiched in between us for once. I'm not used to all this YouTube stuff, but I'm gonna give it a good go. Oh, <laughs> love to be an influencer. You do know oh, that, like, so that's many, why we wanna like that's what little girls are gonna dream about. of doing, you know, when they're You know what, but I feel like everyone's an influencer these days. I feel like everyone like two, two well, maybe that's just because yeah. <laughs> we ain't there yet. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like every, like when you go on Instagram, there is so many influencers these days. Yeah, like, it's so hard. Very being saturated, isn't it? Yeah, the there is a lot of in influencers. But everyone who is an influencer, everyone's so interested in their lives and what they do. Yeah. And also like what actually is an influ mm. influencer like? What are the pros and cons of doing it? Because all people see is like the beautiful the pictures yeah. that they upload, and they don't really know anything about the job or what it takes to actually make it work. Mm. Yeah. So, well, we're that's why I'm here. here. <laughs> gonna do a bit of a Q and A, um, and yeah, we're just gonna let you all into the day in the life. Yeah. Uh, this gorgeous, you privileged. Table. Now you know what though. I meet so many influencers, and I I think the same. I'm like, I want to know about your life. It's actually. Like, can you get loads of influencers on here? Is that more? You know what we should do? We should do a chat show. Yeah. <laughs> The influencer chat show. Do because I'd be so in. Wow, you heard it here. We you heard it here first. <laughs> we so should because it's it's kind of replaced. Like when I was a kid, I would spend the equivalent time that I'm mm. scrolling through Insta and stuff like that than I would like watching, mm. you know, like Disney Channel or yeah, everyone watches stuff like that. Where is it? Like now, I don't even watch TV. I don't. No. I literally no. watch. In, I go on Instagram and I watch YouTube and like Netflix. And mm. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. If one of those three was out of my life, there would be a big gap. In <laughs> my life. And what you do? Yeah, That's Netflix gone as well. I got, I got a good like head start, obviously, because of Cheshire Housewives, whatever. But I obviously the show started how many years ago now? Probably five years ago, ago, maybe yeah. even longer, six years ago. And I didn't actually start like I was posting on Instagram and stuff. Mm. I didn't start doing like the influencer thing. So like last year maybe. I heard that I, when I first met you, you weren't. I look back at my pictures and they make me want to be sick. I'm like, what am I doing? It's literally, but do you know what's so funny about that comment? Like, it's like a portfolio. Yeah, it is, yeah. it is. Like yeah. even models, they wouldn't go to like a casting or whatever with like their pictures from yeah. three or four years ago. Mm. Like it is actually your own tailored, pardon the pun, mm. um, <laughs> <laughs> like profile of like mm. what you want to portray your life as and that's why it's so crazy that some people can look like they have this mad life yeah and actually they just go home to like a really normal life how does it work so how do you get booked so they like go onto your instagram see like your interactions see like that sort of thing yeah it depends say. really like a lot of people will message you on dms or they'll slide in my dms <laughs> <Slide> in. <laughs> no but i'm rubbish like a lot of the time when someone DMs me, I won't see the DM, so they'll, obviously I have an email link, mm. it, like in my bio or whatever, which goes to Ryan, my manager. We'll drop that down the bottom bar. Yeah, <laughs> guys, book me! <laughs> <laughs> um, which, will go to, which will go to Ryan, and then Ryan kind of just like discusses what they want, mm. like he does all like the back and forth, whatever. It's quite nice, isn't it, really? Yeah. Like, I bet not yeah. many people... Like, no, a lot of girls do it themselves. I am really privileged, obviously. I don't have to do all that, like answering all the emails. I think it's just more professional when it comes from Ryan. Yeah. Because I'm the kind of person yeah. that does love hearts in the end of my emails, <laughs> and like some people don't like that. Like the monkey face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do. I sign my email off. Best you know wishes, what, I Taylor, and like four X's. And then I'm like, no, it doesn't look like it's not very professional. <laughs> so I think, yeah. It is a good thing that obviously I've got Ryan, so he does all the back and forth, whatever. Mm. Then he'll just text me or email me, whatever, what it is, like who the brand is. Then I'll pick the clothes or whatever the product is that I want, as long as obviously I'm happy yeah. with the product. And then, yeah, I just get all the content and put it out there. Which, then you see it on my Instagram. Then you buy it. We <laughs> have like a snippet of that whole word like content, like what that actually means because we find it hard enough and there's two of us and this yeah. isn't even like a big thing. Yeah, you obviously with your makeup, you'll know how hard it is getting content. Oh my God, that, that word content is not an easy word and that's why I think <clears> so <throat> many older like generation people don't get it. Am I like, to do that? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like, oh, like you can't like just, just post, like my mum's just like, just post and I'm like, mum, like, it is, you know what? That is the one thing that is so misunderstood and really <laughs> actually winds me up. I can see why people are like, well, what? You just get a picture, hair on the lip, hair on the lip, nice. Like, you just get a picture and post it on your Instagram, like, that's not a job. 
you don't understand how hard it is to get the shot. Like, Even it is like so in difficult. the background and stuff. Yeah. They don't make it like really aesthetically. Yeah, pleasing. exactly. You're like, Can I the nails, say, the background, yeah. the do, do you know who, I'm like, mm, wow. Do you know whose Instagram account nails that? I'm Reezy's. Oh, but she, like, wow. she does colours. Wow. Like, yeah, I have no she way on my level. But even and the Instagram editor. managers, like, a whole Yeah, she team must have a whole team. She, I think, I remember watching seeing her Instagram story once and it was like, all oh, my content is planned weeks in advance. Now it's just like, wow. It's crazy, like, isn't it? Cringe. And like, realistically, genuinely swear on my life, if I was not an influencer, I probably would not be that arse about ever posting a picture on Instagram again, I don't think. I can actually preach for Taylor. Like, she doesn't, I mean, it's, this is a one in a million chance <laughs> that I've seen her have not only matching nail and toes, but we have I all the acrylics on. All the acrylics. Oh my god, they're so good. Her eyebrows are not like great. Don't do it. <laughs> Has done like this is a, a rarity. Mm. She's pulled out the stocks for I am actually such a tomboy, aren't I? <laughs> She's a pathetic excuse I for really a girl. I am so awful. <laughs> I try so hard as well, and I'm just no, I don't try that hard. That's what I'm. But, but that's funny because you're not bothered, but your Instagram would say otherwise. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It creates yeah. like this like you. double. You normally just like a nourish getting a coffee and you track and you just chilling. That is you're literally right. it. everyone laughs at me because they're like all oh, my friends like. They're like, I could write your day out tomorrow before you get started. <laughs> you'll, you'll, get yeah, <laughs> you'll get up in the morning. Yeah, you'll get up in the morning. You'll go have a coffee. Yeah. Then I'll probably just shove some gym gear on. Probably not go to the gym. <laughs> well, and then, yeah, that. take a few Instagram photos. Meet the front your legs, it's okay. You yeah, exactly. Do you get like much in, I hate this word, but like hate. Um, I don't really have a look. To be honest, not, <clears> not really like. I, I don't get a load of hate now. <laughs> no. The curry boy. I mean, <laughs> the end of the week. <laughs> yeah, you you did. Yes, a random girl. Really? Yeah, she oh. came for me. Wow. Knives out, Ratchet. guns out. Oh my god, some people are so strange. I get like obviously you you're gonna get hate like. I but I think considering it. like. West like the followers I've got, the percentage of hate I get yeah. is nothing. Um, and do you respond? Mm, it depends. Like, I never <laughs> respond. <laughs> I never respond like hating them back. Like, oh, well, you're well ugly, blah blah. Yeah. blah. But like sometimes I just say some things. I'm like, don't like. It depends what it is. Like some guy commented on my photo, was commenting on all my photos. Like, say I put a picture on a Christmas day, and he commented it, like, why are you not out doing charity work? This is a disgrace. Like you oh. use your platform, blah blah. You're not doing any charity. And I replied you to that one because everything you was you like, platform. you're not doing charity work. You're not. You just do, you like you just look after yourself, whatever. And I was like, actually, like our, as a family, we do so much for charity. Yeah. And I was like, people probably don't see that because not everything we do is like all over social media. Oh, we've done this charity, we've done that. Obviously, we have the ball every year. Like there's so much stuff we do for charity. I was like, I want to hang out with my family and have a good time on Christmas Day. Yeah. Don't come at me for not doing People like charity feel work. Entitled. What would you have done if Instagram didn't ever become like a thing as a job? Yes, that's the thing. So <clears throat> basically, before so the show started, the the show was probably like two years in, and like I like Instagram was never a thing for me. Like it's not like I like went out of my way and was like, I really want to be an influencer. Like yeah. I'm really gonna try it. This I kind of fell into it. Like I know obviously a lot of girls do, and like that's probably why they're so much better at being an influencer than I am. Um, but so yeah, so I was I left school and I've always done like fashion and art and everything at school. Can I just say like you're really intelligent? Like Taylor did so. Like, I know yeah. I smashed school. Like no one believes it now. I'm the ditziest person yeah. you've ever met in your life. Like no, but I think it came down to it. Like academics were semi your thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, they actually fair. Yeah, probably were. Like I, that's why I was always like set to go to uni. Like how, Derby. How have you known Taylor for? We go way back, girl. We met at a I party in like year, 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 probably like year eight. Yeah, maybe. Like <laughs> that. Yeah, it was way Actually, late. I don't even think I met you like a year ago. I think I had like my first conversation like six months ago. Did we? I feel like I've always like seen. I feel like, like yeah, I've always like, seen you on like, like you. Grace's Insta, whatever. I don't even know how we met. I think I just presume we were friends. I saw you with Grace featuring. <laughs> I just presume everyone's Grace my friend. Grace, you look. I'm attracted. Like that's what I was doing. I was going to uni, doing fashion, whatever, and then. Um, I went so I went to uni in London and then I kind of regretted that because like half of me was like oh I want to do the whole student thing and be yeah. a student. Looking back, I would have never survived as a student. <laughs> yeah, but London's we didn't do it, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. Like, so I did like being in London, but I never really got into the whole uni thing in in London. Yeah. And then like I just started doing the blogging thing while I was at uni, mm. and I'd started getting my first like paid posts and 
So Robin, who managed my mum at the time, was messaging me like, Taylor, you've got a paid post that you need to do it this week and post it on Friday. But I had no one to post my pictures and I used to get really embarrassed. So I was like, oh my God, like the only person I'd like get my pictures mm. was like either like my sister or like my really good friends from yeah, home. Yeah. Like I didn't just want like some <laughs> girls that I just met at uni, like, hi, can you go take 800 pictures of me on the street, please? Yeah. It's so embarrassing. So in the end, my mum was like, you've kind of got to decide what you want to do because mm. like you're letting loads of brands down here because you're not posting on time, whatever. Um, anyway, like a time frame. Yeah, time they frame. always say, yeah, they you either get given a date and say you're the one to post on these dates, or they'll be like, can you post within like the next two weeks? I don't yeah. know. Anyway, drop it yeah, I'm. and um, so in the end, I was like, I wasn't loving my course, so I was like, I'm just gonna quit this, and I got offered an internship doing fashion design for Lab Chalice. Oh, which was really good. Blood. Yeah, the blurb. <laughs> Why did both of you see that? It was kind of like hit and miss, like some months I'd earn good money, then I'd earn nothing and yeah. and so and so. But then <clears throat> by summertime I'd like built my followers up more. I'd learn more. Like you learn so much from doing it. Like you learn mm. about like the, how to get the pictures, like how yeah. to edit it better, from like meeting other influencers and they were like, oh get this out, like do this, this is really good for lighting, whatever. And then yeah, yeah. By like summertime, it was like a full-time job. I actually had to quit so my internship because I needed like all the time to do it. So what would you have kind <clears> of Probably because I'm lazy as well. Like most people probably <laughs> could do it in four days, but obviously <laughs> it means everything takes 10 hours. What's your kind of man? Like if you could like pay. What is my kind of man? Do you know what you're- Someone that's gonna like ruin my life. Do you know what really <laughs> Like what you two, probably the strongest thing you two have in common what? is the way men look. Is your type like not the, not personality? I wouldn't have said, but like the, you have been no. you competing basically. Which who you texting? <laughs> Who's landing your DMs? <laughs> you could swap and see if, like you yeah. see if it works. It didn't work for me. Do you want him? <laughs> no. Uh, no, yeah. To be fair, like obviously, if someone said like pick a celebrity that's kind of your type. It obviously be Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> we about to marry the same man. Yeah. <laughs> he is fine. Nah, like, yeah, typically. Even his banter, like, I feel like I know him. I like watch his interviews, like, ha, me and you get on so well. Yeah. <laughs> like, tall, dark, handsome. But you know what, though? Actually, genuinely, I always say, I don't think, I know obviously from my exes, it looks like I've obviously got a type, but I don't think I actually do have a type. This like, is my statement, I feel you. Yeah. yeah. Can I just, can I just I don't have a type. of both claiming that they don't you have don't, a type, I, yet neither of you have ever gone for somebody that's not that type. <laughs> yeah, I know, I've never I have, I, are you joking? No, <laughs> bleep. <laughs> well, sure. No, actually, to be fair, no, everyone okay. knows. Yes, so what each? Some one everyone knows. It's like you've tried it. It's like, no, what no. It's like you've tried it, tested it, and now it's reconfirmed that this is not your type. Yeah. No, but I think I, That's like... I did, I was like, oh, everyone's saying that I'm going for, like, the same type. Obviously, maybe there's something wrong with that. <laughs> so then I went for the complete bipolar opposite, and that was the worst one yet. So yeah. back the fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? See you later! Not no, to any of your advice ever again. It was the worst thing you ever said. Yeah. I think... I don't know, though, because I do, like, I think... I look like... I know, obviously, the guys I've ended up with have been that type, but I think... I look at guys and I think, ooh... Yeah. Like, and I meet guys and I think, you, yeah, we, we get along well. Like, I actually wouldn't mind him as a boyfriend. And they're yeah. not my type at all. Like, some of them are, like, oh my God. Some of them are so not my type. It, it is scary. But, do you, like... Do you get a lot through the DM? Like, please, can... Uh -huh. If you can... He's a fit If you can, the who's the, the most famous person that's ever slid into the DM? Oh, no, I can't, I can't. Really? Everyone knows it already. Oh, okay. I've put the red baby suit on. Oh, I'll oh. marry you. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay, that's wow, Taylor, have you seen that picture when you grow up? Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, everyone raves about that pic. I love Please, that. Please, you just like me. Do you reckon? Go yeah. again. Go again. Take three. My little legs are running dry today. Let's go with us. Show yourself a little Oh, yeah, I'd be there. 100%. I'd be there. I'd be there. I'd be there. I'd be there. Thanks, girl. Thanks for the support. Don't change it. Keep it how it is. I know that the people. Yeah, we'll want this. Okay. So, so you yeah. know, obviously go as far as you want to with it, but what's the juice? Is the gossip? Is the good? Is the dramas? Is there like bad trips? Is there bitchy companies Ooh. that just like are horrible? Or the girls or, like, I mean, obviously no names. Nah, you know what? To be honest, 
I think more. you're asking. Yeah, I am being boring right now because I think you're asking me, and I proper like. Get on with everyone. No, I don't get on with everyone. No, no, there is a few out there. Right? I really hate it. No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking hate you now. <laughs> So, the skiing place. <laughs> yeah, so then I got invited on a ski trip to Verbier. And oh obviously, broke my leg skiing three weeks before. So I was like, Was that giving you like, bad anxiety though? Even if you could, like, if you had a bad accident, but you didn't break anything, would you still go? Yeah, 100%. I'll go skiing well. next year, 100%. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I love that though. I know. So many people that I are love just, skiing. Like, now. You know what though? The thing is, like, my break was really bad as well. But like skiing's one of those things. Yeah, like, you've got, you've some, got someone else's bone in your leg. Yeah, I've got like cadaver or something. I don't want to think about it, it freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So like, obviously I've skied for like eight years now yeah, probably. And I'm like, this is the one accident yeah, I've had. I've never been skiing once. Have you not? Oh, no, I don't even know when to begin. But you know what? I feel like if you get to your age, like it's harder to like not learn yeah, how to ski, but yeah. like it's but the first few times you go skiing and you can't really ski, like you've got to learn. It is a bit boring. Yeah. But once you've learned, actually no, you just go out and get pissed. Like it's it's so much fun. Got Tales it. advice one hundred and one: get pissed. Yeah. And ski. Don't even worry about the skiing. <laughs> just go for the upright. But yeah, so obviously you like breaking your leg, put you back a bit. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like it's it's just hard, isn't it? Like you can try like obviously work around having a broken leg when you can't even stand on two feet like no. getting pictures of your instagram is so, not easy i think that's why it's so important that for you to have other goals like you do have because yeah. like yeah. instagram could crash for a week and then like, that's your only income like, no yeah shit, you know exactly. so it's a good thing that a lot of people do rely on instagram though just as like a business page or whatever else yeah. but then like you say more so to have maybe more ambitions as opposed to like, saying, like I don't see off. Instagram as like a full live career because it's not like you don't even know like Instagram didn't even exist like what 10 years ago mm. probably not even that yeah like, it's, it's crazy but then also if you've got a platform like you do you'd be stupid not to try and use it mm. like it's so easy exactly yeah. well not easy but you yeah know, no 100% it is well. like once you've it's, got the platform it's crazy to think how far it's gonna go I wonder if it's gonna do a complete flip and go back to being like really real you know when you just well they're to, like, changing the algorithm at the moment oh, they're all talking yeah. about this have you not heard about this no apparently I mean, it's changing like you can't see who's like you can't see who's like someone else's photo as in you can see the amount but you can't click on who's who's yeah liked. i don't even know if you can see the amount anymore you can't see how many people have liked the photo only the person that's got the photo got the photo can see apparently Oh, so I wonder how that's gonna change. Then. Yeah, there's gonna be so many slime ball guys out there liking girls' photos. Oh my god, that's just giving all the guys a gate pass. Yeah, exactly. Like, it hasn't. Get out of the Yeah, exactly. Wow. Instagram also don't like people, like brands and everything, making loads of money off Instagram when Instagram aren't getting Why money. Why would they not? Because like, like obviously brands pay influencers, they do all the swipe ups, whatever. Yeah. So, and like, and then in, they're just cutting Instagram out, like Instagram aren't getting any money out Well that's that. not business savvy. Yeah, what Instagram, what Instagram do is say, like, if you want to use Instagram to promote your business, sweet, but we need a little bit of a cut, like um, Depop does. Don't yeah. cut it out because you're missing dollar. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure they've thought it through a lot more than us, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're probably like a billion dollar empire right now. Sorry like, the issue here like, on, on this YouTube I just video. I it was if, like, Instagram aren't business savvy. <laughs> CEO over there. Shout me, business advisor. Everyone. But anyway, I think that's enough. We've yeah. Yeah. covered so many bases. I'm sure this won't be the last time you see. Definitely my, not. My face. This little beautiful face on here. So, I think we're going to wrap it up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Take the stage. Take the stage. Obviously, if you've got any other questions that you want us to ask Taylor at a later stage, hit it down below. And if you want to see more of these with Taylor or with. I need to be on the block, sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I, I'd be, I'll watch them. Sure. Yeah, well, you can hook us up with the links anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's off, look. <laughs> so, thank you for tuning in and watching, and we'll be back soon with another video. Bye, guys. See you later. See you later.